I cry, it's good. <laughs> I'm not crying because I don't want you to take it away from me. Because I can't eat all that bread, bro. <laughs> look at this, guys. You can't yeah. tell me that this doesn't look like Philly cheesesteak. Hey guys, welcome back. Sweet Lady Soul coming back at you like I promised. Today we are going to get into my slamming mushroom Philly cheesesteak. For all my vegetarians out there, we got to bring something for you, for you guys to enjoy as well. So uh, let me go through uh, uh, the ingredients. But before I do that, can you guys do me a favor? Can you comment, like, share, tag a friend? Uh, I would really appreciate it if you could do that for me. Okay, so now. Uh, let's go over the ingredients real quick so we can get this party started. We got three different kind of mushrooms going on here, three different kind of peppers. Don't worry, the description and the measurements and everything will be in the comments and the descriptions below. And we got three different types of cheeses, we got two different types of onions, we got some butter, we got some seasonings going on. So yeah, this meal, first of all, it is fun to make because everybody loves cheesesteaks. We just, you know, eliminating the meat, but I promise you, these mushrooms are gonna make you think you're eating meat. And you know, it's very affordable. We're gonna, we're gonna throw this together and we're gonna have it on some wedge bread that I'm gonna toast in the oven real quick for you. And I promise you, you are going to love this and it's gonna be so filling. Yeah, let's get this party started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brown some butter and we're gonna add the mushrooms and some sea salt to this because uh, that's what's gonna make these mushrooms make you think you're eating some meat. You're gonna think you're eating steak. Okay, so these are the portobello mushrooms that I'm adding in here real quick. And now we're gonna add the white mushrooms next. And then I even got some baby portobello mushrooms that we're gonna add. So we're just gonna get all of this in the pan and let it start browning. And I think I'm gonna actually add a pinch of olive oil. Some salt in here. And the only other thing we have to add is a little Worcestershire sauce, the tongue twister that it is. <laughs> okay. Put a like that. You hear that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the beginning of some good eats. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That looks so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Man, oh man. So we're gonna need a bigger pan for the green peppers and the onions, so I'm just gonna transfer the mushrooms and still let them continue to saute. Now we can ready to add some olive oil and butter to this pan so that we can get the onions and the green peppers cooked up while the mushrooms are still sauteing. Let's move this around. You can use vegetable oil, but just because you're trying to do a healthier twist to this, I just decided to use olive oil. But certainly, feel free to use vegetable oil. Okay. I'm actually going to turn up the fire on this so these beef can really get caramelized. So yeah guys, with all the feedback with the omelet for my omelet video, I'm definitely going to sauté my vegetables going forward so that I can uh, see what that experience is going to be like. So yeah, let's turn this up a little bit more. Yeah. I can't wait for this to be done. So the onions are doing their thing, so let me add the peppers now because I need for these to all caramelize together. Here. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys really try this. I really want to just say thank you so much for supporting me, everyone that's tuning in and following me on my new cooking journey. I really, really appreciate it. I value all of you. Thank you so much. Ooh, look at the colors. Doesn't that look so pretty? Ooh. So I 
know for me, uh, you know, when I'm not cooking, you know, I definitely like to watch my Netflix and chill. You know, so what do you guys do, you know, in your spare time? What do you do to pass the time? You know, with COVID, not a lot that we could do. You know, we're kind of restricted still. We, we got a little bit more movement, but not a lot. So tell me, you guys, when you comment, let me know what you do for fun. Or let me know if there's any good shows. I love a good show. I love a good series. Yes. I feel like sometimes I'm a reporter when it comes to some of the, uh, you know, love and hip hop and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I love all of that. So while I have all the veggies uh, still sauteing, I'm gonna melt this butter down and we are going to brush this bread because we're basically almost finished, guys. We only have two more steps here. After I get this bread in the oven and let it get crispy so that when you bite into your sandwich, you get that. <laughs> Um, we're gonna uh, melt the cheese down for the topping to go on top, three cheeses, and yeah, I'm gonna uh, be plating this uh, and making a sandwich and having, uh, I guess, my son-in-law Eli come taste for us. I'm super excited. Be right back. I know for me, I think there is nothing more enjoyable when you look at your food and it has all these colors. I mean, guys, come on, look at look at how good this looks. I mean, who wouldn't want to eat this? If you guys could do me a favor, tag all your meat eaters out there because they are not going to believe that this is possible, that you can actually have something that's so healthy, that's going to be so tasty, so flavorful, so, so flavorful. I, I just can't wait to hear back. I, I hope you guys really try this. You're going to love it. Okay guys, so we're winding down now. All I have to do is basically uh, butter this bread, stick it in the oven, melt this cheese, and then I'm gonna combine the rest of the ingredients into one pot and we're gonna plate this so we can eat. Yeah. I just wanna butter that bread. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so now the uh, onions and green peppers, they have definitely uh, cooked down, they're caramelized. So now I'm going to add our mushrooms, AKA meat into this pan. And we're gonna add some seasonings in here. And we are almost done. Yes. Ooh, look at that. I wish you could smell this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. They are not gonna believe they're not eating meat. Garlic. Onion powder. Black pepper. A little seasoning salt. And last but not least, a little organic cayenne pepper for a little kick. Oof. I cannot wait to eat this. And we're gonna stir it all around. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell this, guys. Okay. Last step, melt this cheese. We're gonna put it all into one bowl. We're gonna put it in the microwave because this is what's gonna garnish our mushroom Philly cheese steak. And so let this melt down and I'll be right back. We about to eat. Oh, my God, this looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this. I'm gonna mess this up some more. That's supposed to be eating the bread. For you? So I'm just adding a little milk just to loosen this up. You know, the cheese that you could use is processed cheese, but I just wanted, you know, some cheeses that have a little more flavor to them. So just give me a minute just to loosen this up. So that when I pour this over the chili cheese steak, cheese steaks, it'll be more loose. So I'll be right back. It's getting here, y'all. Ooh, yes. Yes, hunty, yes. <laughs> Hey guys, so 
lesson learned. Uh, the first time I did this, I used processed cheese. I was able to throw that in the microwave and it was able to melt down and it was, you know, it was just great. This time I used three different cheeses. So I had to make the roux like I did for my macaroni and cheese and then just put it in the pot. And as you can see, I'm getting it together. Okay guys, we're back, so we're, we're, we're done. So now I just gotta plate it, let Eli taste it. And, there you uh, go. Yeah, we gotta get this. Yeah, get it tasted. Let's get this party started. You so know, you really got me breaking my diet. I'm not supposed to be eating white bread. You know what? I'm so sorry, but this so is healthy. This is healthy. If, yeah. if, if I cry, it's good. <laughs> if I cry because I'm gonna want you to take it away from me because I can't eat all that bread. But <laughs> look at this, guys. You can't yeah, tell me that this doesn't look like Philly cheese steak. Mm, mm, mm. And let's get the cheese on top now. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm. Mm. 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 Nice big clog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you definitely gotta take that away from me. Oh, yeah. I'll taste it. Uh -oh. I gotta put some honey mustard on it. Listen. You gonna put honey mustard? Of course. Oh, no, you know you gotta put hot sauce on that. Hot sauce? Hot sauce. That's right, you put this on everything. On uh, everything. Uh -huh. Mm, mm. Okay, let's close it up. We can put some money once in Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, both, best of both worlds. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Now this is Ooh. this is something uh is this something new? Because I've never yeah, this had is, this just yeah. from you. Yeah, this is definitely okay, something wait. new. I'm trying to, you know, uh capture all my audiences now. So I'm gonna try to bring us uh, some healthy treats, you know, the bad stuff, you know, a little bit of everything. Oh yeah, you don't need that oh, yeah. stuff. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Ooh, right down the middle. Okay, Eli. Don't tell my person what trailer I think. I won't tell. Psst. The secret is ours. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Does it remind you of really cheese thing? Mm -hmm. And the cheese, the taste of cheese. The, taste of cheese. the three cheeses. I'll be honest, I don't even taste no hot sauce, uh -huh. which is kind of good. Uh -huh. But, mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks mm. pretty good, right? Ooh, it's juicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it really giving you the, the feel like it's a mm -hmm. cheese thing? No, forget my diet today. I'm taking this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this. Mm -hmm. Do you miss the meat? Do you miss the meat? Um, no. No, right? No, no. You mm -hmm. don't even need it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you again mm -hmm. for tuning in and spending some time with me. I want to thank my girl, Erica, <clears throat> Fireflix by Erica. Definitely check her out. Please follow her on Instagram. Guys, I'm going to be coming back, bringing you some love, some good food. Yeah, just stay, just stick with me. Stick with Sweet Lady Soul. You can't go wrong. Sweet Lady, mm. you never disappoint outside. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. <laughs> thank you so much, Eli. Mm. Here you go. Please try it. Let me know how it works out for you and your family. You can't go wrong. Cheap, good food. You can't go wrong. Thank you guys. Eli? This is really good. Cheers to that. Cheers. Let's get it. <laughs>